It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. More recently, I spotted this year's E3 events, and I thought the games were very uh, interesting. Amongst the games that I thought were really interesting at this year's E3 was the remake for Resident Evil 2, The Last of Us Part 2, as well as Yakuza Kazami 2 and the Fest of the North Star game. However, like with everything else, this year's E3 was incredibly politicized. Yeah, uh, no shocker. During the E3 event at Sony, for the video game called The Ghost of Tsushima, many accused the event of cultural appropriation and the main reason why people complain was because a white guy was playing a Japanese flute. Can someone at Sony please explain why you chose not to hire a Japanese performer to wear a traditional Japanese wardrobe for a Japanese game? This is extremely offensive to your Asian American customers and blatant cultural appropriation. Please explain. Wow, cultural appropriation much? Couldn't find a Japanese person to do this, dressing up a white man in a Japanese garb? The cultural appropriation is all musty. I guess all Asians were booked they stay with whitewashing Asian culture with musty mayonnaise. I absolutely love the mindset of these people. It basically assumes that just because somebody lives outside of Japan, they're not fully capable of playing any sort of Japanese instrument because they're white and because they're male. And that is not true. That is not true in the slightest. In various video experimentations on YouTube, many Japanese people, many Asian people, don't really care if a Westerner actually adopts their culture or want to emulate their culture. Isn't it a bit racist to assume that a person cannot do X simply because they're an outsider? Also, what if that white guy at the E Street was the most qualified person for the job? Shouldn't that person, you know, be higher based upon his qualifications. During the end of the trailer for the game called Metal Wolf Chaos XD, there was a slogan towards the end that said, Mech America Great Again. Obviously, it was a tongue-in-cheek joke and a reference to Donald Trump's Make America Great Again, however, people were not having it. Mech America Great Again was a really bad move. No, just no. And they ruined it with Mech America Great Again. God damn it. I know I'm not the target audience when I think Mech America Great Again is in poor taste. This outrage was not just limited to people who many call social justice types, but also people who were considered themselves to be politically incorrect. For example, the trailer for The Last of Us Part II have many comments that claim that this game was made underneath a social justice warrior agenda. The kissing is it really necessary, promoting LGBT for the young. The Last of Us is not a series of games that aim towards young people. These series of games are rated mature, meaning that these games are meant for mature audiences. I really wish game designers, movie and show directors, producers, and writers would realize that she can have a strong female league without her being a freaking lesbian. You do realize that Ellie was a lesbian since the first game, right? Since the game called Left Behind underneath the original game, it shows a relationship between a black girl and Ellie. Virtue signaling, pandering to a minority while eliminating the vast majority of the original fans. If they sucked to what made the first one so exhilarating and timeless, there would be millions of views and pre-orders. Pity, my feminism, my inclusivity strikes again. These series of comments 
are probably the average stereotypes many people have about anti-social justice warriors. There is nothing wrong with having LGBT characters. There is nothing wrong with having gay characters. You guys look really bad by speaking out against this kind of stuff. I don't think these comments are going against the video trailer because they hate gay people or because they don't want no women or anything, but I think it's because of many different factors. Many of these people are probably sick and tired of seeing pre-established characters being replaced by someone else with another gender or a race even though that character was pre-established as a male or a female or whatever. Not to mention we straight people are the majority of the population and so when we see something that's odd and unusual we kind of freak out if it's not the norm. If it's okay for a straight couple to kiss on screen, why is it not okay for a gay couple to kiss on screen? I don't understand that mindset. One final example of the politicalization of E3 was the game called Gears of War 5. There was an article that was talking about how there was a female character in Gears of War 5 and somehow it's Super SJW because they have females in Gears of War to which I say who the fuck really cares. Gears of War have females since the very first game so what the fuck are you complaining about? According to what I read online, basically the female character for Gears of War 5 was already in Gears of War 4 and basically in Gears of War 4, essentially they hinted at the fact that the woman character for Gears of War 5 will play a big part in the next game. So again, without the context, you're just reacting for no reason. The point that I'm driving down for this video is that both sides have the potential to be both bullshit and extreme. Basically, don't be super PC and don't be super, super anti-PC. When it comes down to information and facts, be sure to be inside the rational middle, not the extreme left or the extreme right or any other extremes. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.